Hey everyone, this is Gak Attack. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to do a pretty crazy exploit in the game. Uh, it's a locking trick, and no one. I figured it out about a week before the tournament, and so apparently, this guy, Elite X Spartan, already knew about it on Xbox. Uh, but this will be the first official video showing everybody how to do it. Um, pretty useful, uh, especially against abilities like Time Phase and Firecrackers. Uh, it bypasses them completely once you have it set up, although it is kind of hard to use against multiple uh, enemies, as you'll see. Uh, but still, I use it every once in a while. I, I usually use it about once a game. Uh, so hopefully you guys learn how to use it. It's not easy to learn how to use, so uh, that's why this video is here. So, yeah, here it is. So what you're going to be seeing here is you're going to see me moving around and you're going to see my crosshairs are hovering over this adventure here that I have almost locked. I'm just holding down the left trigger and I'm not moving, I'm not even moving my camera around to focus on them. The, wherever I move, my crosshairs automatically focus on them. And the way that this works is just a simple trick that they introduced in AC3 with the, when they introduced the new crosshairs. Um, you hold down the left trigger to do your hard lock. And then without releasing it, you click down on the right analog stick, and it allows you to focus on the target. Um, but the problem with this is that when you move your camera while doing this, so you click down on the right analog stick, and then you, you're still holding down your lock button, um, and you click down on the right analog stick. Whenever you move your camera, it'll shift over to the targets uh, adjacent to the person that you you had your lock hovering around. It's a little difficult to explain, but uh, as w you'll kind of see it here, um, I'm sort of, whenever I move my, whenever the camera, sh or the crosshairs shift over to another civilian, uh, that's because I moved my camera. Um, so what you have to do is you have to hold down left trigger, click down on the right analog stick, and then just don't move your camera, and then it won't. Your crosshairs will stick on that person, focus on them, and you can pretty much just you can pretty much just narrow in on them, and then get a free killer stun. Um, so it's it's not easy to do when you have multiple enemies um, in manhunt, for example. Uh, if you're over, you'll become easily overwhelmed when there's that many uh, targets around you. So it really is best for one-on-one -on -one situations, but in a one-on-one -on -one situation where there's firecrackers or time phase, which are heavily used in manhunt, uh, this is where the trick comes in handy. Um, so let's let's see what exactly what is happening here. So you're about to see me do it on the huntsman soon, um, and the exact process is hold down left trigger over the person you want to lock or you want to do the trick on. This is not a lock which is why it works, because your lock is not broken by the time phase or firecrackers. So you want to hold down the left trigger of the person you want to lock. After you're holding on left trigger, you want to click down on the right analog stick. You can release the right analog stick after you've clicked down on it. And then you simply don't move your camera, and your camera will hover itself around the target. The Your crosshairs will hover around the person you're trying to lock until they move into range and you kill them. Uh, if you do move your camera, it messes it up. So, and you gotta hold down the lock button. Um, so it is very a very clumsy tactic, but it does work flawlessly. I'll show you again on this uh, adventure here. Uh, I'm focusing my lock down on him. You'll see in a second how I'm holding on the lock button right now, and then I'll click down R3 when I'm when the lock is over the person, and then it'll kind of change from. Uh, looking like this to looking like that. And now let's pause here again. Um, once I'm in this position, the camera will hover over him no matter where he moves, unless he moves behind an, uh, an obstacle. I forgot to mention that. That's very important. If he moves behind an obstacle, I will lose it. But um, as long as he remains in my sights, my camera will hover over him, and then he will, once he moves into my sights, then I'll kill him. Um, Firecrackers and time phase will not stop me. You're going to see me avoid the time phase that he drops. Target has exposed you. 
So here I have the, I have my camera stuck on him, and now I'll move in for the kill. I would have lost my luck right now by now if I had uh, just had a normal lock on him. Yet yeah, this doesn't count as a lock. Uh, this trick does not count as a lock, which is why it works. And so I get it. Uh, again, I pressed R3 there um, while I had my lock down. I'm moving in again, um, mashing square, and I would have killed the civilian by now. Probably that jester. But I don't, because I'm using the trick. Uh, I'll replay the Saba Island clip. I know it's only two clips. I could be using more, but uh, I don't have them saved. So you're limited to these two, but um, look through my other videos and you'll see it work. Here, Chris is doing it on me. That should have been a perfectly executed firecracker, or a pretty damn good executed firecracker. But he used the trick and it didn't work. Um, now let's watch me doing it again. It's the same clip as I showed before kind of failing um, but yeah I'm trying to do it multiple times it's kind of annoying and assassinate when you already have to lock the, your target um, but here's clicking down on R3 after I've held down left trigger um, doing it one more time and now I just don't move my camera and I watch it happen no matter what he does I will get it on him as long as he doesn't move behind an obstacle and yeah there's the kill um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned how to do it. I know I'm not the best at explaining videos and doing commentaries and stuff, uh, but this is the only video that people have of this being used, so it's important that it gets put up. Um, so yeah, share it with your friends and ruin AC4 with your exploits. See you guys later. Hold on, hold on. Alright, go ahead. Your target has exposed you. Exposed you.